so good morning guys uh, i hope you all are well so, today's uh, video is about uh, regarding the all of the updates uh, we got from iboma university and uh, uh, i'll try my best to share each and every information uh, we got till the day so this is my personal email let me close it first okay so basically uh, let me take you to the uh, email updates we got or uh, let's start with portal issues huh? uh, like uh, some of the students still getting uh, errors uh, while accessing the student portal account so let's uh, start it so go to the uh, like uh, student portal student portal Alboma University simply type um, uh, Alboma University student portal on google and uh, press enter this will direct us to the uh, we saw new uh, we saw some links so click on first link new students Alboma and it will take us to the student portal click on this link student portal and if you are accessing your student portal first time and you have uh, and you have you haven't set your uh, uh, you haven't created your algoma u dot ca email account yet then please click on i forgot my password then fill out this information now uh, this will uh, and after clicking on submit this will tell you the tell you your username and uh, after that it will ask you to reset your password do the same thing and uh, now you know your uh, like uh, username and your password right but uh, these cred these credentials aren't enough login to your student portal this student portal paste dot algoma u dot ca I, i'm really sorry i made a mistake here in spelling algoma u dot ca okay so this is the address of our student portal who are enrolled for uh, graduate certificate students except uh, those who accept in business programs okay so please click on login and this will there was an okay this will ask you to if you are uh, signing in with your google account like i am so it, it will ask you to select your google account but uh, so firstly uh, like uh, if i am using another so uh, to uh, like um, we uh, we first have to create our google account like uh, from the credentials we got from we got from this form so let's sign in to the new form. Let me open a new cognitive window for you. So Google. But, uh, let's suppose uh, I haven't signed into this account. So can I uh, sign out from this account? Uh, let me see. It will be easy for you guys to understand like sign out click on sign out sign in syncing is passed continue perfect uh, let me remove this account oh, ok so after you got your username and your password 
एंड के कॉल लाइक सॉरी टाइप दी एड्रेस ऑफ आर स्टूडेंट पोर्टल पेज डॉट एल्बोमा यू डॉट सी ए एंड क्लिक ऑन लॉग इन दिस विल आस्क रीड रेक्टर्स टू साइन इन विद गूगल पेज सो हेर यू एड योर ईमेल लाइक योर ईमेल विल बी योर यूजर नेम विद द डोमेन ऑफ आर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एट द रेट एल्बोमा यू डॉट सी ए सो दिस विल बी योर ई मेल एंड योर पासवर्ड विल बी दिस जेम दैट यू सेट इन in the forward password page so password will be the same for this uh, page for your google account so here you will type your username at the rate algomau.ca and click on next and the uh, add your password there sorry so username you have to uh, like uh, type your username like i am and uh, here you add your you will have to add your password and click on next so it will redirect to your student portal but uh, if you haven't uh, activated 2fa on your google account yet so you will uh, then might be chances that you will face the error like uh, your account doesn't follow the uh, follow uh, your organization settings 2fa organization settings so uh, to avoid this avoid that error so firstly you have to log in to your google account like gmail.com uh, anyway i have made a separate video on how to enable 2fa on your google account so Here you will manage your Google account. Click on Manage your Google account and uh, click on Security. And here you will have to add your two-step verification before you uh, like log into your student portal account. So, uh, so this is all about uh, how to access your Alguma U dot C account. so next we'll discuss about uh, our student portal updates uh, that we got uh, that we got till the day so this is the user interface uh, of uh, our home page of our uh, student portal account so to download the uh, coe like confirmation of uh, enrollment letter so you have to uh firstly uh to do this to do that uh firstly you uh, you have you have your status as registered there and uh, there is a class schedule should be uh, assigned to you so after that you will be able to download your coe so as you so to download the class schedule click on view and print schedule and once it loads there click on export pdf so your class schedule will be downloaded as a pdf so this is all about class schedule and let's so get to the how we uh, can download our coe so click on documents here so request new document like i have al i have already downloaded uh, my confirmation of enrollment yesterday so click uh, for um, for the new ones here uh, click on request new documents and click on confirmation of enrollment and your term will be automatically selected for you here and click on save so uh after waiting for uh, two or three minutes like two or three minutes uh, like uh, <laughs> after waiting for 5 to 10 seconds 
your confirmation of enrollment will be here showing here like click on view and uh, the document is loading it will take some time and you can download from here as a PDF so you can download your COE from here so this is all about uh, the student portal updates we got uh, we got we got uh, and so let's move out to the email updates so let me take you to the email ok so third reminder ok so let me take you to Okay, for students who want to join the orientation like uh, student uh, pre student arrivals pre arrival sessions a uh, virtually pre pre arrival session those are very informational and uh, you will get enough knowledge uh, enough knowledge in advance like uh, prior to start your student life at Canada so uh, make sure to register uh, make sure to register in those pre arrival sessions and this will be this email like contains the uh, orient registration for your orientation so you can do registration for your orientation from here like click on this link or you can simply type uh, orientation Algoma University orientation Algoma is enough and click on orientation first page so this will redirect to our orientation home page of our university and here you will have to if you are enrolled for uh, enrolled in fall 2023 like this the upcoming intake so click on uh, this get started and if you uh, if you are enrolled in uh, uh, Brampton campus or Mississauga campus then you have to click on GT orientation otherwise if you have uh, other campuses like Solsio Mary and Timmins campus so you have to click on the required one here so I'll click on GT orientation so as I, as I have already responded to the uh, already registered so this was showing me to you have already responded so make sure to fill this out form only okay so this is all about uh, orientation and next mail we got yesterday like about social insurance number requirement so i don't know if this is for the I mean, means I'm not sure if this is not, uh, for the new students, but uh, I have asked Jeremy so about the SIN uh, uh, update. Like, uh, do we need to update the SIN uh, number uh, in our student portal? Um, in our student portal to get the uh, T4A text forms. So. Uh, there the mention that uh, it will be uh, it will be compulsory for every student to add their SIN numbers in their in their student portal but uh, here they have mentioned that for new international students uh, so who are eligible for awards awards are meant for like financial awards we uh, the students got or the bursaries like um, all of the project management students uh, who are upcoming the September intake they got uh, $6,000 of bursary uh, so uh, they need to uh, they supposed to add um, their SIN number in their student portal so make sure to add before 15th of October so to add uh, the SIN number in your uh, student portal uh, like let me take you again to the student portal uh, stop. I don't know what's here. 
So I have to log in into the game. So uh, to add the same number in your account, you have to click on the profile section and edit profile. Uh, so wait for the uh, one or two minutes yeah. so you'll see scroll down the page and here, here they have asked uh, our scene number so whenever you get your scene number so click on edit and add your scene number and click on save so this is all about uh, scene updates and 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 COE, we will cover COE and the uh, student portal account updates or, or, or okay uh, one student uh, uh, also asked me about the chat GPT option chat GPT option like uh, how to login into uh, chat GPT so, let me take your chat Open chat. Home page of GPT. So chat and open chat. Here you will find open AI. Uh, here they will ask you to about sign up or create your account. So if you haven't created an, uh, any account on this one, so click on sign up. Uh, otherwise, click on login. So I have to come login. Let me click on login and uh, uh, so uh, we can uh, like click on uh, uh, continue with Google here. So it will automatically pick my uh, Google account which I uh, I have logged in here in my Chrome browser. So uh, like click on login and it will ask you to select your google account select your google account and uh, uh, it will automatically assign uh, sign sign in you to the like home page of chat gpt so let me show you Okay, so <laughs> like I am uh, signing in here first time, so it will ask me some information from my side. So you can type any date here, <laughs> not exact date, but uh, so continue and click on after that click on continue. So it will take you to the left me at like this it, 24, 94 and continue. Okay, so it will ask my phone number. So then you will have to add your phone number, and uh, you will get an OTP messages. So, so and blah blah. So verification needed here. So you can uh, log in into the open chat like this. So this is all about the updates we get till the day so thank you guys